What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. I scared my daughter. <laughs> oh, wow! Sorry, it's been a wee bit long. I've been adjusting to things and figuring out when I can post and all those kinds of things. I did have some family in last week and um, they're visiting Kaylee and just uh, meeting her and all that kind of stuff. So, you're back at it. I'm going to try to get this one up this week. And yeah, I mean, we're going to go over how month one went. So, my plan with updates now is to do one month update of like kind of postpartum so you guys can figure out what I'm doing and how the weight loss journey is going, how breastfeeding is feeding is going and any questions you guys have, comment them down below, comment on my Instagram. I'll keep track of them and make sure that I answer them in like each month update. So I'll do a month update of postpartum and within that I'm going to do a month update on the baby as well. So if you have a one month old baby, you could kind of know maybe what to expect. Every baby is different, so do keep that in mind. But I just want to like share my struggles and her struggles and our struggles together and just figuring out each other and all those kinds of things. And I think it will help a ton. So that is my plan moving forward. Every time that she turns a new month, which is towards the end of the month, that's when this video will be up. This one is kind of a, a little late, but that's okay. We're still going to get it up. Anyways, guys, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into this video. So, one month update. Are you going to let me do it? Huh? Little on the edge, but we're going to go for it. She's kind of just listening to me, so this is kind of working. So, anyways, first I wanted to start with the emotions of postpartum. Now I feel that everybody is different so really really keep that in mind as I am talking about my own personal journey that yours might be completely different and don't feel down about yourself if you were way more emotional than me or anything like that because that is 100% okay and that totally comes along with this. So but if you are having you know more type of depression type stuff then definitely talk to your doctor. But my emotions I felt they were pretty darn normal um I did have my moments I have had my moments of getting very down about my body when I do look in the mirror and seeing stretch marks and all those kinds of things it's like oh my gosh my body's completely different the loose skin the wider hips just all the above like ladies you know what I'm talking about and it's just like oh my gosh my body is not the same it's not the same but I am learning every single day that I will have my body back. I'm here to prove that you can have your body back. And I want to give you guys hope and show you that you will have your body back. And when you look into your little one's eyes, you know that this was all worth it. You know that this beautiful gift was a gift from God that I can't even begin to thank him enough for. And I just remember that every time those negative thoughts come into my head or when I start to look at myself and put myself down, which I should never do because what like us women do is amazing, amazing. Men could never go through that, which they can't. But if they could, they would not be able to do it. They would not. <laughs> that is what I think. My first like anxiety, like our first outing was like on Mother's Day, like at a restaurant. And that was the first time I had like a type of like being in public anxiety, if that makes sense. Like we're sitting in a restaurant, I'm like, please don't cry, please don't cry, please don't cry. And like, why does it matter if she cries anyways? I just care too freaking much about what other people think. Like, oh, I don't want to ruin their dinner or all those types of things when none of that freaking crap matters. Like it does not matter. So don't let that like get to you, even though you might go through, but as I keep going out in public and those types of things I am becoming a lot more just like comfortable and like if she screams she screams I can't do anything about it you know I'll whip out my boob I'll do what I can most of the time that'll keep her quiet and she just farted so that's great but that dinner went amazing she was asleep the whole entire time and didn't even cry so I don't even know what I was worrying about next breastfeeding so um, the first month of breastfeeding for me has gone really, really well. I feel like my milk supply is pretty good. I am pumping once to twice a day um, as of right now. And when she was born, she latched immediately. I never really had those problems. And I know a lot of people do 
have those problems and my heart goes out to you because I cannot even imagine the frustration of that. I am just like always leaking like that's the most annoying thing is like I'm constantly like my shirt is wet and so I'm always changing out like the pads changing my shirt and like stuff like that like people say it gets better but I'm like when because this is a little ridiculous. I think that I have an overflow letdown so sometimes it causes her to choke while she is on the boob which it freaks me out I'm like Psh, and like put her up and hurry and like <laughs> pat on the back because it just freaks me out I do know that I have like an overflow of letdown and I can feel when it comes in it's like this like electrocuting like type feeling like no one tells you about that feeling it's like electrocuting feeling coming through your boobs man it's like like here comes the milk like, you know, some people don't feel their letdown, but I definitely do. At least I know when the milk is starting to come in. Are you talking? Who's talking? The letdown, yeah, I get super annoying, but people have told me about the haka or haka. I'm not sure of how to say it, but it's H-A-A-K. I don't know how to spell it. Never mind. Um, <laughs> but it's something like that. So, um, people have told me that, like, when she's breastfeeding on this one, like, to put it over here, because this boob is, con like, it was, it's gotten better, but it was constantly getting her, like, soaked, so I'd have to change her clothes as well. Like, it's not the boob was out, it was in my clothes, but it was still getting her wet, so that was annoying. But I think it has slowed, it has slowed down some. So next, I wanted to kind of talk about, like, the postpartum bleeding. The bleeding for me was not that bad. I mean, those underwear you get to wear after the hospital, woo, sexy, let me tell you. The underwear that I bought, if you go back and watch like my hospital bag that I have in my hospital bag, the underwear worked fine for me. I did not have a problem. I did get thicker pads for when I was at home. I tried to like start going down as soon as I could so it didn't feel like I was always wearing a diaper because that was annoying. <laughs> it was like when I walked, it sounded like I had like a snowsuit on or something. <laughs> it was disgusting. <laughs> I'm like, this is so attractive. But the postpartum bleeding was not that bad. It ended up going down pretty quickly, um, like the heavy bleeding. But the bleeding probably lasted the entire month, to be honest. Um, it really, really did. I was able to switch to like a regular pad or like a light pad most of the time. So then come May 25th was my postpartum appointment. It was supposed to be the first week of June, but I was like, I'm feeling way too good. Like I do not want to wait five weeks. Like let's see, they'll let me come in at four weeks. And they totally did because they say four to six weeks and I was feeling completely fine. The vag was feeling good. Like I was fine. So we went in that appointment, like girls, if, girls, really we are women over here ladies if you are nervous about the postpartum appointment like I because I didn't know what to expect and at least this is what she did at my doctor's she just came in wanted to see the baby and just talked like we literally just talked she um, asked if I wanted to be checked and I said I was completely fine I did not need to be checked nothing was hurting or anything like that if something was hurting I definitely would have had her look at it um, so that appointment you kind of just have to go in so they can get you on the birth control you have the choice of the IUD or you have the choice of the pill now I was on the pill before so I wanted to be back on that I decided to do that but if you are breastfeeding they'll give you one that does not have estrogen in it so I'm on that pill, it's a pill you take every single day. If you were on the birth control pill before, you'll know that the last line of your pills, there's those are like your period pills. Now on this pack, you don't have that because I didn't realize that breastfeeding takes away your period. Um, I had no idea and then that kind of like makes it kind of go away. She said that some girls will get a period, but when I first got on it, I was like kind of bleeding like every other day but now recently I haven't been bleeding at all so we'll kind of see how this month goes with that but I'm not sure it's been going fine the only thing that I've noticed is my skin has become a lot worse like super super dry I don't know why because it's summer here and that's when it's like not that dry here Whew, let me tell you like I have dry patches on my face, like just really bumpy, like underneath the skin acne, I feel like. After, I wanna talk about working out because, oh 
girl let me tell you like I needed working out back in my life like I needed it back in my life so bad the gym just working out in general is the thing that takes away anxiety for me the thing that makes anxiety like never come back it's like my me time whether it's 20 minutes or an hour like it's my me time and I need it like I need it with that being said I am now doing like three times a week like Monday through Friday I'm trying to get in like a hit full body workout so far this week I've done two which is really really good on um, the weekends I'm going to go to the gym because her dad can watch her be like an hour so my plan is to like hit like back and biceps maybe one day and like legs and like some shoulders like I'm gonna have to double up on something or um, do like legs and backs or by shoulders and a little bit of tries. That's probably something that I'll do like that instead. Um, that sounds a little bit better, but <laughs> I haven't really gone over it. Or focusing on my diet and making sure I'm getting in good foods for her um, and things like that. So that has kind of been my postpartum journey, you guys, as of month one. It's been really, really good. I just try to keep a positive attitude, a positive energy, and just really look at it as just a positive light and that like I'm going to be back to normal like I already feel a thousand times better but you know when you start to look at your body it's like ugh, you get a little discouraged you know so I totally get it I'm just really trying to enjoy this process of getting back to normal and seeing what my body can do after having a baby and kind of looking at it as like a competition because that's how my mind works and just kind of looking at it as like let's see what we can do here let's get it back even better than it was before like let's do this like that's that's what I want to do. So I'm excited to continue this journey. Oh, she's letting me feel. Ah! You're too good, girlfriend. Too good. Can I see? Okay. I don't want to poke the bear. Okay. Baby one month update. Oh, come on. Get it out. Okay. So for Kaylee, her one month update, she eats about every two to three hours, which that has really stayed consistent throughout one month. Um, towards the end of one month throughout the night we have recently just switched it to four hours just kind of seeing how she does and her weight gain has been really really good and she sleeps the four hours then I feed her and then goes another four hours then I feed her and then by the time that's morning time so she's doing really really well with that which I'm pleased with she is a sleeper not so much during the day now but we'll go over that in month two um <laughs> so that um, has been really really good through the night and I feel extremely extremely blessed to have a baby that likes to sleep through the night so um, next her umbilical cord fell out so early which I was not very pleased about like it was kind of hanging a little bit but we went to her first um, doctor's appointment and the doctor knocked it out and she was like screaming I was like what the hell like don't you know what you're doing like that's how I felt but all is good like I'm good with a pediatrician now but at first I was like oh hell no like why did you just knock that out you know what I mean because she was like trying to clean it but whatever let's not talk about it so come I don't know which appointment this was but it was sometime during month one I just noticed she was kind of like spitting up a little bit maybe more often I don't know I didn't know so I brought it up to them and they said, oh, she probably has acid reflux, make sure you incline things and that kind of stuff. And they, that appointment, they put her on some medication. Well, they told me to go pick some up, so I did. And I left there thinking that she had it, but like I've learned through this journey is do your own research, do your own research. Babies spit up, okay? They spit up. She's not in pain. She's not in any type of pain at all. And that's what I was realizing from the things that I was reading so my first thing was okay I need to change my diet because I'm gonna try everything naturally before putting her on a type of medication that is just how I work um, and it was Xanax that they prescribe for babies which is an adult medication as well to help with acid reflux so I it's just this is just my own opinion so keep that in mind so what I decided is okay I'm gonna cut out dairy so which I have cut out dairy not 100% perfect, but I've cut out a lot. I don't eat a lot of dairy as it is. Um, I eat boiled eggs, 
which is dairy. That's about it. Anyway, so that was my first step. And then right away the next step is I wanted to get her on a probiotic. I heard that that helped a lot. So for now, for a month straight, she has been on a probiotic, an infant probiotic that is liquid that I give her every single morning. And I believe it has 100% helped. She still does spit up. Babies are going to spit up. But it's whether she had it or not, I really don't think she did because I started tracking how much she was throwing up, which was maybe once a day, maybe twice a day. But now it's some days she'll go two days maybe without spitting up, but the last two days she has spit up. That's what I've been doing, probiotic to help her gut, to help her digestive system and all those kinds of things and um, making sure that my diet stays as clean as I possibly can. You know, gotta have a little chocolate here and there. <laughs> gotta keep mama happy. What I have her sleep in though too to like elevate what I've been doing, I, you might be able to see in the frame, I'm not sure, but her bassinet is right there and it's the halo swivel one. But then I just started, she was sliding down to the bottom so it wasn't working real well with elevation. So I have her snuggle me that she sleeps in at night like right next to me and I have it elevated with a blanket underneath it and she's never ever spit up at night. So that's just kind of what we've been doing right now. Working. So I'm not gonna change it as of right now. She is such a gassy baby. Oh my Lanta. And they stink like an adult fart. She is full of sass, like extreme sass. She always is giving us like dirty looks, like it's insane. I'm like, man, I wonder where she gets that from. <laughs> not me and she's just very strong headed I can already see it she's a super strong headed girl and she will not take a pacifier will not take one I've tried time and time and time again when she's crying and it it's just not happening it is not happening she's not gonna take one so but she does try to put her thumb in her mouth which I'm not having she's not going to do that she does wear mitts like at night and things like that like from her like pajama onesies and stuff like that so she doesn't suck on it at night and I'm gonna keep those on her until this time passes for until she's five <laughs> I'm just kidding started her on a bottle once a day which she was not too thrilled about because it's like a pacifier nipple but I leave I go in the bath I take a shower um, almost every night just because I did that before I'm a huge bath person and that is like my time where I can have my me time and things like that. So she does drink about two to three ounces out of the bottle. Then we give her a bath afterwards, which she loves her bath time. Like she's obsessed with bath time. It relaxes her. She absolutely loves it. So we do give her one every night, but then I lather her in so much coconut oil so her skin does not dry out. Um, I'm very, very cautious of that. And I do put a little bit of lavender lotion like near on her chest, kind of just a little on her face and neck um, to help calm her on her legs and feet as well. And I feed her again and then she conks right out and she'll sleep four hours. She is fussy. The best thing that calms her down is Disney music. I sing and dance around with her and she conks right out. My mom did that first with her and she's here and now I've continued to do it to say the least starting to smile which now it's like full-blown smile and it's the cutest thing but the first month if you're wondering when your kiddo will start smiling it's probably towards the end of the first month and oh it just melts your heart it's such an amazing feeling she hasn't had any diaper rashes I just wanted to bring this up it's kind of what I've been doing because I hear that babies get very very bad diaper rash every time I change her diaper I put coconut oil I lather her bottom and everything and she has not had a diaper rash so that's maybe try it out if your kiddos having bad diaper rash coconut oil does wonders let me tell you it does wonders like whoo holy grail is coconut oil for this little baby and i all right guys so that is going to do it for this one month postpartum and one month baby update i hope that you guys enjoy it enjoyed it <laughs> I'm looking forward to updating you guys every single month and having this as a journal as like kind of like a record for me to show her when she is you know like old enough to know and go back and watch it and stuff like that so I'm just excited to show this with you and if you guys have questions if you're wondering what your baby is doing during one month of like hey did yours do this like comment down below I'm an open book 
I am such an open book if you guys have not learned that by now. So anyways guys, I love you so stinking much and I appreciate all your support and I'm going to try to get up a video once a week so sorry if there's a week I don't, just know life of a newborn and I do plan to get up like a day in life of the newborn so you can see kind of how it's going right now during month two so anyways guys I love you all tons and tons and tons I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video make sure you guys subscribe you know for Kaylee just do it for her <laughs> if you haven't already and make sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up on your way out and also hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a video since I've been a little irregular and also follow this good old social media because I am really 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 trying to get consistent on there and I want to um, do something with it I'm brainstorming 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 <clears throat> to give you guys some type of information loads about motherhood some workouts with babies to try to help with postpartum whatever it is so I feel like this video has gotten long enough and I really don't want to drag this on anymore Maybe you're watching on a cardio machine, or maybe you're laying in bed, or maybe you're taking an awesome hot bath. Anyways, guys, I love you, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys. She's passed out. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's try to lay her down. I don't know if this is going to work. Just keep talking. Do, 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 do,